And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Gojirasaurus, which was a request from TRES4 via YouTube, so thanks. It was a coelophysoid that lived in the Triassic in what is now New Mexico, and its name means Godzilla lizard. It was named after Gojira, which is the Japanese name for Godzilla, and Gojira is a combination of the Japanese words for gorilla, gorira, and whale, kujira. So it's a portmanteau. Yep. And there is also a Godzillasaurus in the Heitsei era of Godzilla films, and that's a political period of Japan, and Godzillasaurus is fictional. So it's just a character in the Godzilla films. Yes. The type species of Gojirasaurus is Gojirasaurus quayi, and quayi refers to Quay County, New Mexico, where the holotype was found. And it was found in the Cooper Canyon Formation in 1981, and it was described in 1997 by Kenneth Carpenter. Gojirasaurus may be a dubious genus, though. Fossils of the first specimen found include a serrated tooth, some ribs, vertebrae, chevron, right pubis, left tibia, and metatarsal. However, in 2007, Nesbitt and others found that the vertebrae were actually of Shuvasaurus, and the pubis and tibia came from another coelophysoid. It was too large to be coelophysis, so it was a, some other coelophysoid. And that's what made Gojirosaurus a dubious genus. On the other hand, Nesbitt and others also said that the tibia was what distinguished Gojirosaurus as its own genus, because that showed that Gojirosaurus was more robust than coelophysis. Hmm. In 2012, Mortimer said that the more robust tibia may just be size-related, though, and not actually a distinguishing feature. There was another specimen referred to Gojirasaurus in 1994, but it was only a pubis. Adrian Hunt described the pubis in an unpublished thesis and named it Revultoraptor leucosi, but it's now considered to be a nomum nudum. As a coelophysoid, Gojirasaurus was bipedal, terrestrial, and carnivorous, and it was one of the largest carnivores from the Triassic. It was about 18 feet or five and a half meters long and estimated to weigh 330 to 440 pounds or 150 to 200 kilograms. Kenneth Carpenter thought that the holotype was of a juvenile, so maybe it grew bigger. The specimen is now in the University of Colorado Museum in Boulder, Colorado in their collections. <laughs> 